This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. It's thanks to their support that our videos like this and more are possible. We just launched our new website on Squarespace and are really impressed. You can check out the link in the description. If you need a website yourself, get 10% off by going to squarespace.com slash make everything. Living here in Minneapolis, we have the Super Bowl this year going on right in our backyard. So that'll be a great excuse to make our own football from scratch, starting from a pig. So let's go. First, a little warning for your own discretion. I'll be working with animal products in this video. However, you won't see the actual death or butchering of the pig due to USDA rules. Let's get started with some background. The real history of the football and its nickname of pigskin comes not from the outer leather, but the inner bladder. The first footballs were actually made inexpensively by inflating the bladder left over from butchered pigs, which is likely where the pigskin nickname originated. Later, to make the ball more durable and a consistent shape, an outer leather skin was added. The type of leather of choice for this, however, was a more durable cowhide. Today, the bladder of the football that's used in the Super Bowl is made of a synthetic material. However, the outside is still made from leather. For my football, I'm gonna go back to the roots and use an actual pig bladder. Then, for the outer skin, I'm gonna take some creative liberties and actually use the pig's hide for the leather. So I only have to source one animal for this and can make a literal pigskin football. Next up, let's meet the pigs. A few years ago, I met with a farmer, Karen, at Littlefoot Farms to meet her pigs and collect some hairs for a yet upcoming video on making a toothbrush. What kind of pigs are these? Gloucestershire Old Style. They're a lot more gentle than most other breeds of pigs. They're typical of an old style, unimproved hog that hasn't had a lot of genetic improvements. So they maintain their dispositions that make them good mothers, that make them good for small holder farms. Just a great quality pig mm -hmm. to have on a farm and great quality pork. You know, they're outstanding. How old do they get before you butcher them? Um, you know, it kind of depends on how well they're doing with regards to their litter size and how their health is. How old are these guys? This group here is all about two years old. This is Bunyan, and generally the boars are the, sh you know, the shade year of the, of the group. But these guys, these heritage breeds, are just much more docile, much more manageable. <laughs> yeah, be careful. They are <laughs> these guys are about 500. Well ginormous, these pigs were surprisingly super friendly and loved a good rub. When they get sort of this few weeks from farrowing, they like to have their bellies rubbed. And it's kind of a trigger for them. Although they got a little too friendly with Chris's tripod and ended up eating part of it. A rather hard part of this series is getting to meet all these animals that I almost always end up falling in love with. Pigs like these are only raised for one purpose. And the next time I see them, it will be from the other side. I had, rather reluctantly, hoped to be the one who had to call and butcher the pigs in maintaining the mission of my channel and attempting to do every step myself. But unfortunately, or fortunately, this wouldn't be possible due to USDA regulations that wouldn't even let me near the slaughterhouse. So while I let the experts take on that task, I need to figure out how exactly I'm gonna make my football. So first, I dissected a store-bought football to see how exactly it's constructed and put together. This is very revealing, but I wanted to put this to the test first before I use my pig hide. Before I risk ruining my hide, I'm gonna do a test football with some cow hide. So the football I dissected, I can use as a pattern now. Got the four pieces all set, but this is super smooth. And uh, it's probably not gonna make a great football. So when they professionally do it, I believe they do it in this like press that presses the whole pleated pattern into it. Uh, so I'm gonna see, just try pounding some rocks into it and see if that works. All my 
attempts at adding some texture haven't been super great. They add some texture, but not really enough to give it the, the gripping friction that you normally find on a football. So something I hadn't even really considered. Um, so I'm gonna go to plan B, which is I'm gonna take this really nice, well-tanned exterior of the leather and put it on the inside of the football. Got a bit more friction. This actually will grip pretty good. So I'm gonna use that, kind of turn everything inside out. All right, let's get sewing. the bladder from the uh, one I dissected. See how well that works. I only have one pig bladder, so I'm gonna save that for my actual football. This is not gonna be fun. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's see what I can do, oh boy. <laughs> this will be a challenge. to make my actual football from scratch. From the butcher shop, I got the selected parts of the pig. Unfortunately, the pigs I got to meet earlier were long gone. I was able to get parts from this year's slaughter. While many products are made from pigs, the parts I need are actually normally just thrown away as waste. So thankfully, I'll be able to find additional use from this pig's sacrifice. In fact, from this one pig, I'll be able to source ingredients for a surprising variety of upcoming projects. But for now, I'll start with the hide itself. I forgot how lush and thick the hair of some breeds of pigs can actually be, and it seemed like such a shame to remove it. So I thought I might give a little extra character and also solve my issue of the grip I ran into with my test football. Step one is to lay it out and flesh it, removing any excess fat or flesh. I only need a portion of the hide, so I trimmed it down to something more manageable. Done. Done. I got waterfall mist. Is that a good fragrance for um, shampoo or football? Such a shame, we're gonna make shampoo in a couple weeks. Don't have it ready yet. Next, I rinse the hide off, give it a nice lather with some shampoo. Then I stretch it out on some boards. The method I was going to use is called brain tanning, which uses the actual brain of the animal to tan it. However, the butcher ended up tossing out the brains. So I'll use an alternative that supposedly works on the same principle, eggs. After separating the egg yolks and adding a little water, the mixture is then applied all over the hide and left to soak in overnight with a damp towel placed over the top of it. While that soaks, I'll prep the bladder. Got the, I believe this is a bladder. Looks delicious. And then just gotta inflate it. I think I just uh, find a hole in below. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. 
Oh God, it's gonna work. <laughs> How's that smell? I'm not gonna suck back in whatever comes out. <laughs> Anything, any juices? I feel like juices are coming back. Let's get it in there enough. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's play some ball. What do you think, kitty? <laughs> Chris is amused. <laughs> it's a whoopee cushion. Cool. Now back to the hide. After rinsing off all the egg, it next needs to be stretched and worked. This was very exhausting, as well as time consuming. Smells like eggs and bacon. But once adequately complete, I started a fire and hung the hide over it to smoke it. This step treats the hide and helps it become waterproof. Once adequately smoked, it's ready to go. Now, let's make a football. So I got my hide now. I'm gonna wear gloves because everything I touched before, everything near this has gotten really smoky and piggy smelling. So I'm gonna wear gloves. But we have the hide now. It's time to make my actual football from scratch. So I did my little test football. It turned out fairly decent. I figured out some issues I might run into, but now I'm going to apply it to my actual hide and make my football from scratch. Let's get cutting. Rubbery. I'm gonna cut the lid.
All right, that is a football. Let's inflate it. All right, that actually worked surprisingly well. Put some finishing touches on it, and I'm gonna take it out, see what everybody else thinks of it. It's like actually pretty well inflated, pretty durable. I think the hair is gonna make it really, really easy to catch. I think it make the game more interesting if you can just catch it by the hair. Imagine how many plays would end with that caught by the hair of the ball, by the ball hairs. Actually, that might sound bad. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna take this out to the Super Bowl activities and uh, see what some fans think. If you had to make a football all the way from scratch, how do you think it would turn out? If I had to make the football? Yeah. I don't think it would turn out very well. I made one using store-bought materials. Okay. I uh, canned pig hide, played with a pig ladder. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Do I have to touch it? <laughs> oh wow, yeah, that's. Full on. That's disgusting. It's the pig's face. But impressive. That is yeah. actually the nipple. Oh my god. <laughs> great, great. Oh my god. That's a real pig? Yep. Oh, cool. I like it. <laughs> kinda, hey. I think it's kind of gross, personally. But... I think it's good. All right, you want to hold it then? Huh? I think it's good. I think it's good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god. I don't god. like that. <laughs> yeah, that's genuine pig Weird. skin, I'd say. Yep. It's even got, what, a nipple on there? Yep, that's a nipple. nipple. <laughs> I can say nipple if I want. <laughs> can I hold it? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, it's heavier than I thought it would be. I gotta be honest with you, it kind of smells like bacon. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow! Cool! Oh my god, yeah. I was expecting something really scary. Oh. Can we hold it? Yeah. Funky! Can she go for a pass? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what kind of spiral I'd have, but there. <laughs> That's nice. I like the little nipple That's right there. Oh. <laughs> I just touched it. Uh, um, hold it. No, I that's pet disgusting. Feels <laughs> like a good boy. Oh. Watch out. Oh! 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 <laughs> no, that's nice though. That's, yep. They should use those. It's inflated with a pig splatter. Oh. Well, that's the uh, <laughs> opening of it. I'm kind of freaked out. I gotta right appreciate now. your creativity. Oh my god, there's that's a That's a new nipple. nipple. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Suck on all my teeth, you're like a breeder okay. crab. Not too hard, I'm not a giraffe. Hey, go! We got that thing down! Come on, little piggy! This is disgusting! In a follow-up video, I meet with the official producers of the Super Bowl's actual football and see what they think of my football and learn how it's actually done. Thanks again to Squarespace for making this episode possible. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Create a beautiful website with their all-in-one platform, no coding experience required. They have a ton of templates to choose from, so you don't have to start your designs from scratch. Squarespace provides award-winning 24-7 customer support, and it's simple to set up or transfer an existing domain to Squarespace. So all your websites live in one place. We just transferred our website to Squarespace and really love how easy it is to use and how great our content looks on their platform. Start your new free trial today at squarespace.com slash make everything to get 10% off your first purchase. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching.